So my last trip to the thrift store, they had an inordinate number of VHS tapes just everywhere. I mean, tons of them. Mostly a bunch of common junk in not so great shape. Really nothing worth picking up for myself, nothing worth for the store, nothing cool like anime or whatever. Real common stuff, but there's a lot of it, and it was spread out through a bunch of different bins. It was all over the place. And I started digging anyway, just trying to see is there any like anime or anything cool for the store or anything like that I would want, whatever. And eventually I picked up a tape, I grabbed it, and I realized, holy crap, wait, this is too small. It was, an, it was a Betamax, I had another beta tape, John Carpenter's Christine. And as soon as I found that, I started digging, of course, more fervently, and be like, oh, if there's one, there's got to be another. Because <laughs> we just, it's not a format we see ever. I mean, if you've watched my videos talking about the format at all, my collection, and uh, what I have with the player, almost all of it is from one time where Amanda found a bunch years and years ago, and then what I've bought online. We just do not see, honestly, more than like two or three a year is a good year, and it's usually junk. Uh, so finding beta tapes is just not a thing that happens. Uh, the format is just non-existent around here um, as far as an old retro format. So when I find something, I get really excited. And in my digging through all those bins, and I was there much longer than I normally am because I was just looking carefully through every single one that had looked like a VHS tapes, and I found a ton of beta tapes. Uh, so much. And I'm going to be busy using my beta players and watching and testing all these over the next like month or so, uh, deciding which ones I'm keeping for the collection, which ones are junk because every once in a while you find ones that are worn out or whatever, and then which ones are going to be for the store, sorting them out there. But um, if it's in good condition, this one will definitely be for me. And uh, yeah, I just kept finding a bunch. We have Laurel and Hardy, Comedy Classics, Volume 1. The uh, remake of The Postman Always Rings Twice. I've not seen this one with Jack Nicholson, so I'll be sure to check that out because I've not seen this version. Ziggy's Gift. Uh, Tale of Two Cities. And these were all pretty much a really good condition for being just thrown in these big dump bins with a bunch of VHS, which were all in really crappy condition. So these were a really cool find. And another one of that type of case, we have Katherine Hepburn in Little Women. Uh, the movie, uh, oh, Chorus Line, the movie. Some Disney, which was pretty cool to find. Uh, the Unsinkable Donald Duck with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I had not seen this before. I may have recognized this. She probably had it on VHS as a kid. They had like everything Disney. But I've not seen that one before. I'm going to check that one out. Um, it's in good condition. This one's definitely for me as well. Uh, no question about it. Uh, hey there, it's Yogi Bear. Really excited for that. That's really cool. I like Hanna-Barbera stuff. And then Till the Clouds Roll By with uh, Judy Garland and Frank Sinatra. And then Dress to Kill in one of the VHS style, you know, sized clamshells here. I have a couple like that. Uh, that's the thing with Beta, like the, the size of the cases is all over the place. You know? Sometimes it's really just, it's literally put in a VHS case with like a Beta sticker. You never know. Um, a couple here in more generic cases are loose but look like in their good condition. We have Night of the Juggler and Daffy Duck's movie, Fantastic Island. Last one here from the Children's Video Library. The best of Heckle and Jekyll and Friends. So that is just a crazy number of tapes. I mean, this is like the last time when Amanda found a whole bunch many years ago. Like that many. This is the most, I think, since then that we've ever found. Um, even in a whole year, we never find this many. So, again, I'm going to be super busy with these. I'm very, very excited for a handful of these. And, you know, watching them, and again, kind of putting them in, do they stay in the collection? Are they working? And, or do they go in the store or whatever? But very, very excited to find these tapes because they just are not plentiful around here at all. And no stores that sell older physical media around here sell them. None of them. None of them. There's some one record store out here that will sell laser discs and CEDs if they have them, which is infrequent, but they do sell them if they have them. Everywhere around here, 
that sells that type of media sells DVD and Blu-ray of course and that type of thing and a couple places will sell a VHS and of course the thrift stores are full of VHS constantly but uh, the ones that really seem to be a format that at least had decent sales in this region they weren't exactly you know they weren't complete and utter duds or they weren't something like video CD which technically existed you know in in the US but wasn't really much of a thing as you know unlike in other regions the two that just had some sales success at least for a little while before failing and falling out that just don't seem to be around ever are HD DVD and uh, beta those two formats just kind of seem to have fallen off the face of the earth and we just do not see them ever so when we find a whole bunch from a format like that it's very exciting and some good stuff too because uh, every once in a while when that happens those kind of things that you never find them when you do it's like the most generic thing ever um, I think with HD DVD the thing we see over and over again if we do find it is the first one of the Michael Bay Transformers movies that like two disc edition with a slipcover all the time we run into that if we find an HD DVD at all um, or like with UMD it's another one that's kind of hard to run into it's always that stealth movie like that's about it uh, so when you run into something and it actually is quality stuff, that's really cool. Tapes look like they're in great condition. Most of them have really good uh, packaging. It's just still in fantastic condition. Looks, I'm very excited. So I'm going to be getting some more use out of this format in the next coming weeks. Just having a blast.